I should, I should know. Maybe, maybe you're to blame here. Give me those. Look at us. What is it? Look at, look at us. No. No. Caleb. Oh, my God. What the hell? Tell me you know where the body is. Tell me you know where Caleb is. It was gone when I got here. He left this behind. Oh, my God. He's not dead. No. Uh, uh, of course he is. We, we did everything right. By the book, he was dead. Tess is missing, too. Caleb must have taken her. He took her someplace. He didn't take Tess. Tess took him. No, no, that's insane. She healed him and she brought him back. No. We don't even know that he's alive. Yes, we do. Where are we? Caleb, who made me live, now it was my turn to save Caleb. He must be tired. You need to rest, okay? I 
I've always been able to heal people. Oh, I... After all the things that I've done, why would you bring me back? Because it was the right thing to do. Your life is just as precious as anyone else's. There must have been more to it than that. I was really upset by what Jack had done. What they all had, had done. And when I saw you lying there, I, I knew, I knew I had to bring you back. Possible. That you really do love me. Face it, Jack. Caleb's back. Yeah, but it wasn't Tess who brought it. Then who was it? I was a dead man once. She put her hands on me and brought me back to life. You know her powers. Look, he took Tess, and I've got to find her. She's my wife. She loves me. If she's with Caleb, she's in danger. If she's with Caleb, she's where she wants to be. You know what? Shut up! Stop! Just stop. This isn't doing anyone any good. What the hell are you doing? We both know what happened here. Yeah, and so does he. He's just not ready to face it yet. What we need to face is the truth, Rick. Really? What truth is that? We can't beat Caleb. This is his nightmare. And we're part of it. No, I don't accept it. You don't accept it! You don't have a demon living inside of you. I was a man for one minute. Now I'm back to this. I am not going to let you give up. You still have your research. What research? He's alive and I'm walking around like a dead man. All right, fine. So what do you want to do? Huh? You just give me the word when you want to give up. Of course I love you, Caleb. Did you think I was lying when I said it before? I guess I found it. Hard to believe. Well, I couldn't have saved you if I didn't. You... You have a power beyond anything I've ever felt. How did you feel? I took in my last breath. And I just felt a certain kind of acceptance. And you weren't afraid? I just knew this time. This time it was over and there was nothing to do but embrace the darkness forever. I think I felt that moment too. Except suddenly, there was this little sliver of light. Like the sun breaking through the clouds. That was you. You were calling me back. I've only heard of unconditional love before. I've never known it. Sure as hell, never felt it. And I know what kind of sacrifices you had to make. I had no choice. Jack is going to be very angry with you. I don't want to talk about Jack right now. to get to Levy. As you always have. I guess I deserve that. Doesn't matter anymore. I don't want to fight about it. I'm tired of being torn between you and Jack. I don't want to try. To have not been used by Jack, or you, to 
to not feel hurt anymore. What would make me happy is to not have to feel that. I've made a decision. You win. Caleb, she wins. You can be with Livy now. I don't want to fight with you anymore. You two can have each other and I'm, I'm just going to rest. But I don't want Livy. I want you, Tess. I want you. Caleb's alive. Again. Man, I thought we really had him this time. Hey, he got a, a silver bullet right through the chest, thanks to Lucy. I went through the whole final ritual, and it wasn't enough. I did everything I know how to do, and he's still back. So what's going on? I mean, if you, if you got some big master plan going on up there, big guy, now would be a good time to tell me. I don't want to live here. I want you. together when we both know that you love Livy and I love Jack. He tricked you into doing something you never would have done on your own. I, I don't think that's how love is supposed to work. You taught me that love isn't filled with betrayal. Real love's unconditional and I, I can see that every time I look in your eyes. No, I helped you. That's all, but I don't love you that way. There's more to what you feel for me than just trying to help me. You brought me back. Even though you don't know if Jack will forgive you or not. If he loves me, he will. If he loves you. You're not sure, are you? I mean, I, I know that I love him. To love and not know if you're loved back. Wanted me to be honest, Tess. All I'm asking is for you to do the same. Be honest. And if you are, you'll realize what you've already proved to all of them. That by bringing me back, you love me. No. And that Jack means nothing to you. No, stop it. You stop it. I'm sorry, but you had no right to say that. Even if what I'm saying is true? But it's, it's not true. I'm married to Jack, and I do know what's in my heart. You're right, Tess. I shouldn't have said what I said. It's clear that you feel something for Jack. I feel... What? What do you think you feel? Love? Maybe. And gratitude. After all, Jack found you. He taught you his view of the world. Taught you how to act. Taught you how to speak. 
I knew how to love. You knew how to love. From the moment I pulled you from Livy, I felt that love even then. But when I look at, at Jack... You feel gratitude. He helped you. So do I. But he was so kind and he took care of me. But you're not that same little girl he found in the woods, Tess. You're a woman now. You have a mind of your own. And with that, you fought for the man you love. You wouldn't let me die. You couldn't. What does that tell you? That you're grateful? No. No, I, I didn't feel grateful. I, I felt... Love. You're meant to be, Tess. If you search your heart, you'll know what I'm saying is true. Please don't say it anymore. You're, you're just confusing me. That's the last thing I want to do. For all your words, they, they keep swirling around in my head and in my head and in my heart. Then I won't say another word. What do you see, Tess? Now you believe what you're saying. You don't want to hurt me. I'm sorry. It's hard to be so close to you and not touch you. Because I don't belong to you. Not in the way you want. I'm married. Jack married you to keep you from me. But it didn't work. You chose me. The minute that you put your hand to my heart, and you saved me. You chose me, Tess. Music plays, Livy, you will come back. The test will be history. And Daddy will do whatever it takes to bring you home. Her pictures, my things. Jack, what have you done? I'll talk to you on the way home about <gasps> Hello, Lucy. What do you want? What do I want? Now, is that any way to talk to a neighbor? I thought maybe you could use some help unpacking. I don't want help. I want you to leave. <gasps> Mom! Serena! This is Stephen Clay! <laughs> Last time I saw you, we really didn't get a chance to talk at Thanksgiving time. I know, I know. Serena, I Serena, listen to me. I am I mean, like your biggest fan. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a little help here. You know, your, your mom keeps trying to get me to leave town, but, but I like it here. I want to stay. So what do you suppose we, uh, we could do about that, Serena? Listen, Pumpkinhead, I need you to go to your old room and, and call your dad. I'm sure he'd be very worried about you just about now. So go, go to your room and call him now. In a minute. No, not in a minute. I need you to go now. I just want to tell you, I think your new single's awesome. Hey, that means a lot to me, Serena. Thanks. Serena, 
Go to your room. Now. I just want to tell you that I think I'm totally into naked eyes. Do, 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 do. Mom's always telling me to turn it off, but I can't stop listening to it. I bought three CDs. I have one at my dad's, I have one at school, and... I'll bet you even have one here at your mom's. No, yeah, no, I do. Doesn't. Would you sign it for me? Oh, I'd love to. Can you, can you oh, go get cool. it? Oh, cool. Okay, sure. <laughs> you stay away from her. Stay away from my daughter. Oh. You really think I'd hurt your little girl? What kind of a sicko do you think I am? Hey, you, it's really cool, but it is so late, you know, you, you, you need to get some rest, Pumpkinhead. Mom? I'm not kidding. I really want you to go to your room. Come on. Okay. Now. Thank you, Dora. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. <gasps> oh, my God! Brush your teeth and wash your face, Serena. I'll be up in a minute. If you ever, if you ever touch her again... You know what? You'll try and kill me? You already have. Twice, no. Now it's my turn to return the favor. So go on. Let's hear your theory. Okay. Now we agree that Caleb can't be killed, right? Right. But we can try and take his power away permanently. And we know that sex between a slayer and a vampire takes away that power temporarily. And the drugs, well, that's this water. Okay, that drugs okay. Mask now, now, how does rock and roll fit into this equation? His music. The stuff that he and his merry band of vampires keep making. You try to put our boss out of business, Slayer. Okay, isn't it a little late? Shouldn't you two deadheads be in coffins or something? No, nah, we still owe you a beatdown for trashing our studio. You thought we forgot? You really are in the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. Maybe you are. I'm the Slayer, and you're a vampire. You got the picture? Okay, let me, let me try one more thing. Hang on a second. Here's my question to you. Why is it that the music hooks everyone except Slayers? Sorry, you'll just have to buy the album. Look, this is getting boring. Great. Let me put you out of your misery. Wait, wait, you psycho. Ashes to ashes. Okay, That's okay, God. okay, okay. Okay. There's something about the first five notes of that song, Naked, Naked Eyes. That's all I know. I, I swear. Sex, drugs, and five little notes, huh? Might just be the way to bring down a vampire forever. And a slayer. So what makes you think it's going to be so easy to do away with me? <laughs> you know, after I got staked the last time, whew, I had a killer case of heartburn that lasted for days. Well, now, why don't you just let me... Take care of that bad case of heartburn, huh? You know what puzzles me? Maybe last time I was a little cruel. But this time, coming back as Stephen Clay, what have I really done to hurt anyone? I mean, besides turning Allison's mother into a vampire. She enjoyed every minute of it. And you enjoy it even more, feeding on human flesh. So every minute you're still here, that means somebody I love, somebody I know, is in jeopardy. And since the only other Slayer around can't kill me, what does that tell you? I guess that just means that one of us isn't going to make it out of this room tonight.